Hello and welcome back to Simple Rockets 2 and again I'm going to push this out there that I'm trying to get to 400 subscribers and we're so close you know I'm overwhelmed with the amount of support we're getting I'm getting at the moment it's incredible the more support I get the more I'm going to do so I'm going to keep up with the Simple Rockets 2 because that seems to be what everyone wants to see and in no way am I an expert at this or anything like that I just you know it, it's fun to see us mess up though, at times, I'm sure, I hope. But anyway, we're going to get on with it. We're going to make the Saturn V today. Well, we're going to try. We're not going to include the lamb just yet. Because, um, first of all, I just want to go around the moon, see if we can get it up and built to go around the moon. So yeah, that's going to be fun. And also, remember this, the giveaway is still running till Sunday. So, if you do want to join, make sure you're subscribed and comment down below if you want to win this game. Okay, so I've got a picture next to us of the Saturn V and how it's laid out and everything. Which is pretty cool. We're going to have to use this, which is a bit... <sighs> yeah bit unfortunate <laughs> it's just the way it looks just isn't 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 brilliant should just put it that way it isn't brilliant <laughs> right okay I was just checking everything was recording so we need to make this it's gonna have to be the same size as this which is a bit small actually but we're gonna have to try and match it like that oh come on hang on what am I doing? We need um what do we need? We need a hay shield, that's the one. Um can you turn around? There we go. That's on and then we need an interstage but a tiny tiny one. That'll do. Put that on. We want some RCS, don't we? So we're going to make this an RCS tank. Uh, mono propellant, that's the one. And then we'll put another fuel tank on, which will be the main fuel of the command module. That looks about the right size. I'm going to see. Yeah. That looks about the right size. Right, and then we're going to put some RCS thrusters on it. We'll just put them in the middle. Like that. Should we get two lots on? We'll get two lots on just to be on the safe side. Four like that. Right, and then we want some parachute. Can you not get side parachutes on this? No. We'll have to just stick with the one. <laughs> Unfortunately. Right, so... Should we go down and edit the way it looks... Straight away, or... I mean, that's... That's kind of the way I want it to look. I'm going to change the colours straight away, because... I want, like, a silvery... Custom... Metallic smoothness emission. Hang on, we need this. This needs to be white. This one, and then we'll make the blue like the silver. So we'll color this. In the silver, like that. I want it pretty metallic, a bit lighter, a bit bright. Yeah, we'll keep it like that. Want want the DDL in, don't we? Yep. Right. So that will be our colours. Now this engine, what engine is this? 
let's analyze the performance of this in the vacuum so that's gonna get it's quite good actually change the nozzle size oh that's really reducing the thrust but it's getting more we'll get more um, delta V out of it so we'll keep that like that and we we'll want to keep it the same size because that looks about the right size to be honest we're going to put it up like that that looks good right that's the command module we'll save as we're going if you don't like the building parts then just let us know and I will change it straight away and just get rid of the building parts and build them off camera which always turns out better anyway for some reason <laughs> for obvious reasons all right so we're going to extend this because this is going to be where the lamb actually eventually goes right and then we're going to have the fuel tank on there that looks about the right size Okay, what do I need on here? Oh no, that's too big. Mage engine. I think we're going to go with a mage, yeah. Let's have a look at that. This, is this going to, that's not, this is going to be in the vacuum, isn't it? This stage. Because this is the third stage so I we'll want this do you want a bell on it um area thrust I think that might be the better option actually we'll leave that as is now and just see how that turns out. We're going to do a lot of testing on this anyway. So then we're going to want the next inter stage, which also buckles out to a bigger shape, but not too much. And it's not that long either. So we'll go like that. Go with that one put this on fuel tank so it's not such a big tank either I'm gonna go with about that that should be okay and then we'll get gonna want some of these on because there's five five of these on here so we'll add we're just going to go with the mage again. Like that. And we're going to move them up. Like so. Because it looks ugly all out like that. <laughs> they should be okay. Right, and then we'll just go on to the next inner stage again. It's not a big one that time, so I'll keep it at that. And then we'll go on to the last stage, which is the biggie. Wait, it's not that big. It's pretty big. Does it stage out again? Does it, um, it doesn't go out anymore? But I think sizing was a bit wrong on that one. So we'll go like that. And then we will... What I'm going to do... I'm going to add some of these to the side. To create that... Um, kind of cone shape. 
None of these. Like so. Then we'll get them to go down like that. Put a nose cone on them. Get them pretty pointy. Don't want them too big. They they are too big. They we are too big. So we're gonna reduce them in size. Take them off so we can lower the actual thing itself. Right, and then we're going to want to set these at the right height. That should be alright. And then we're going to move them in side a little. Like so. Then we'll have the engines. I'm going to go with the APEC engines. Yeah, but we're going to want to shrink them down a lot. That, maybe like that. That needs to go back to shape. What the hell happened there? That's actually. I quite like that, actually. Yeah. I'm going to stick that up in there. So it looks good. We're going to stick some fins on. I do like them sticking out, actually. I'm going to leave them... I'm not going to push them up like the rest. No, I'm not going to push them up. Right, and then we're going to put some fins on. Like so. I think they might be okay. Don't want any surface. Don't want a control surface on them. Just want them to be fins. So to say. Right. So over the right that. Right, I want to get the pattern on it. Can you get the pattern on it? I'm not sure. Stripe, there we go. Striped. Striped. Get that stripey. Stripey feel going. Don't think the middle part was actually striped. Um, like it was sectioned in two. But I'm going to leave it like that anyway. Is there any other bit that was stripey? Don't think so. Just the interstage. Is it this in it? No. It's next to the engine. No, we'll leave it as is. Is like that. And then we'll save it. Alright. Check the staging. So first stage is wrong. This stage. Bring this stage down to there for now. Get all these mage ones. Right, so them first, yep. Yeah. And then it wants to be that in there. So them go together and then, oh no, we want that in with them. So five, yep. Yeah. And then that in the stage to that, then that, to that, then that, and that. Yep. That looks good. See of the craft. What's that everything look like? Everything looks okay. I think we should just go for it. Why not? So yeah, I'm actually loving the support and um thank you so much for getting us close to four hundred subscribers in the first place. Wow, this looks small. 
Compared to everything else I make, this looks so small. Anyway, I'm going to set this up. Set this up. Make sure we're recording okay. Yeah, we're recording okay. And ready. Launch. What's not happening? That's just a bit slow. Whoa, what? Wait, what happened? Does anyone know what happened there? Retry? <laughs> Did I do something? The hell? Right. Full throttle. Goes up. The throttle's down. It does not run out of fuel straight away, does it? Okay, I'm, I'm really... bugged on what's going on here. So for a stage, stage delta V, burn time. Why do they cut out? Them engines cut out. Oh, I understand. I understand now. Because they're losing fuel. Because obviously they're draining these side ones first. And then just losing access to fuel so that should work now if it's a fuel line I hope <laughs> Let's see how it goes <laughs> yeah that was that was an issue try again go hopefully they don't just cut out oh, well, now it's tipping over Yeah, they've cut out again. Why is that happening? Fuel line. Fuel line. Fuel line. How does this work? Allows connected engines to search this part as and its connected parts for fuel. Okay, that doesn't have to be, and that doesn't have to be, I don't think. Allows connected engines to search this part. Right, okay. Yes, yes. Let's just stick these as a fuel line as well. And then see what happens. Boy, this is confusing. <laughs> we might just have to get rid of them, I think. Right, you ready? And go! Might not last that long. 
how long did it last in the original uh, missions? I don't even know. See, now it's got 60 seconds left. It's getting us pretty high. This is one heavy craft though. Remember that. I'm not going to start leaning yet because it's way too early. I'm not even going that fast. I'm going to lean a little. Start a little bit. Before we lose this stage. I mean it's actually taking us pretty far. Further than I expected this stage to get us. Yeah, that looks cool though. That does actually look good. The rest of the rocket? Mm. Maybe not so much. But the command module looks awesome. I'm gonna keep that on the appropriate mark there. Getting up high. We are getting up there. From this first stage, which is amazing to me. There we go. That's silent. Oh, we're losing speed. Oh, no. That's why we are losing speed. <laughs> I can't believe that actually happened. That's crazy. I didn't even see that. It must have changed for some... Ah, oh, yeah. It did change. I want this one to go in there, thanks. Right. Save craft. Hang on, let's double check that again. Yes, that looks right. Okay. It's all looking good. We're going to make it. <laughs> We're going to make it. I hope. Right. Okay. So, go. I think it will definitely give it. It should do. It should do. I don't see why not. It does actually look pretty good though. I, I do like it. This is pretty good for me make something that actually works as well. <laughs> I know all the um, SpaceX ones work and everything, but that t that takes me hours to build them and get them working before I actually upload a video. So I'm not going to just... I don't want everything to fail. But I do once in a while like the odd fail. Because everyone fails at something. <laughs> Can't always be perfect. Anyway, it's more enjoyable. It's more enjoyable, the explosions. Like the start of this. <laughs> no. I'm surprised how long this stage is lasting, though. That is really shocking me. It's great, though. It looks great. It looks absolutely amazing. I'm going to lock that low grade. Now, hopefully, this time it'll work. I'm wondering why the engines were so silent. I don't think they'd actually had time to throw it up before. There we go. Look at that. That is brilliant. I absolutely adore the graphics in this game. It's absolutely brilliant. So remember, if you want this game, leave a comment. Make sure you're subscribed. And you can win a copy. On Sunday. This is actually working. Look at this. Oh, the battery is draining. The battery is draining. I'm right, not getting much height. I'm afraid about the height situation, so I'm going to lock it in that head. So hopefully, 
Hopefully we'll get a bit more height. And if this has got loads of fuel to spare then, at least we know the lamb is going to, if I fit it in there, the lamb is going to work. Which is the main thing. Because obviously you want to land on the moon, you don't want to just fly around it all the time. This is actually going pretty darn well. I might go for a bit of a higher um, ascent profile next time just because with it being such a massive rocket you are probably just getting a lot of drag so it's probably better to just go straight up rather than turning early especially with these um, interstages bleeding out like that We are getting um, up there now. Let's go pretty fast. Even this out a little. Wow. I wish it could make an escape tower. That would be epic. Use the last of this to keep going this way. This actually might get us into orbit straight away. Nah, one percent left. Zero percent. That stage is gone. Thrust away. Should we just keep burning at this height? I think we should, yeah. May as well just keep burning like this. We have got plenty of fuel. 3,000 meters per second delta V. So that should be plenty, should be plenty. But remember, this does have to do the um, lunar injection burn as well. So it does have to get us to the moon this stage and I'm gonna I'm gonna let this just go around the way it is like that maybe head down a little bit more right, I'm gonna cut that there and then we're gonna wait for our apps and burn there. Gonna lock that. Auto burn. We are losing battery though. We're gonna have to put some solar panels on this somewhere. Oh, it actually did, didn't it? The command module have solar panels. I'm sure it did. But anyway, that is pretty circular, that burn. 69% left. Right. So I think actually we will continue this in the next episode. Sorry guys, but it's been going on a long time now with making it and everything. So remember to subscribe and thank you very much for watching.